Hey folks, welcome back to my channel. I have another video for you. I bought this wind turbine. I bought this so that it would actually vibrate the ground and keep the moles away. And it's doing a really good job at it. So far I haven't had any moles in the yard. This is everything that's in the box. You're going to need a small screwdriver with a Phillips head. Got your screws. You got your housing. A couple other uh, pieces like your motor with your light. I'll go ahead and start putting it together. So the first thing you want to do, take your housing and just pull it apart and separate it. I'll go ahead and open up your bag that's got the motor and the gear inside of it. The motor will be in a package. Just go ahead and pop it out of the package. Now take the biggest part of your housing. The motor will drop right in here. Right like that. And there's a little place over here for the wire to go down in, as you can see right there. And you got two holes in this light. There we go. Give you a good look at that. That's how it goes. Now, I've opened my bag of screws. They're right here. I'm going to take this gear here and the longest piece of the gear that will stick out the front. But before I put it in there, there's these little sleeves right here. Okay, these go on this right here. You got one in the back. And here's another one right here. Goes on the front. Push them all the way to the ends. And that is like a bushing. Okay, take and push the sleeves on here just like that. Now, go ahead. While you're holding these sleeves in place, you want to take and you want to slide this gear down in here. Just like that. And make sure the sleeves, as you can see here, make sure they fit in there just like that. You don't want them slopping around. You want them to be in there because they are the sleeves that's going to keep from melting your plastic when this turns a whole lot because this will be turning quite a bit and you do need those sleeves in there to keep the friction down now i'll go ahead and put this cover on it only goes on one way go ahead and just snap it down on there make sure your shaft is sticking out the front i'm going to put a screw in each one of these holes it takes four screws okay there it is now it's all snug down don't tighten these up too tight because that's only plastic. You can strip the screw out. Now, I'm going to take this long shaft right here. And this is for the tail. I'm going to go ahead and it looks like it's the same on both ends. So I'm going to take and slide it. So you can see right here, just like that. Until it snaps. Now, it won't come out by itself. Next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to take the tail rudder. I'm going to take and slide it through here. And it's going to snap. So it's not going to come out. So there, the wind's not going to blow these off. Now we'll go to the next step. I got these two pieces right here. They're going to take four screws. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to take, and I'm going to put this on this end. I'm going to take this one and put it on this end. Now, as you can see, it will turn, but I got to get four screws in this, so let me get some screws in there and snug it down. Don't over tighten. Okay, now when the wind hits it, it will blow it and turn it. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and put four screws in this. Okay, there it is, all snug down. Now what I'll do is take this post right here that came with the kit. I'm going to stick this right on top of here because this hair is made for a two liter bottle or any other bottle for that matter whatever bottle will fit here and it'll hold it up as you can see how i'm going to do mine here later and the other end will go on the wind turbine just put it on there put a screw in here and put a screw in here and that will hold this in place now i'm going to take these propellers right here all three of them I'm going to take this right here. I'm going to turn this. I'm going to stick it in just like that. I'm going to put a screw in here. And I'm going to do that with all three propellers. And there it is. All done. I got one screw left over. 
Now what I'll do, I'm going to take the propeller and the wind turbine. I'm going to push the propeller on here and I'm going to push it on here hard. And then I'm going to go set it up. Man, I haven't seen no moles in the yard. I also purchased this pinwheel. Only cost me a dollar. It seems to do pretty well keeping the moles out of the yard. It don't work as well as the turbine though. I also have two pinwheels here. They were both a dollar each. They do a very good job of keeping the moles out of the garden because they try and come through here as well. This wind turbine works really well. Especially when there's a lot of wind out. Okay, this windmill, it actually failed after, I don't know, three weeks or so. It held up really good, kept the moles out of the yard, but the wind came in and it was really strong for too long, and one of the blades failed. So I'm going to try and find another blade to put on the uh, turbine, one that won't fail quite as easily, I guess. And here's the new blade I purchased. I'm going to put it on the turbine. As you can see, it's got two set screws, one on each side. And we'll go ahead and mount it. But here it is. Works pretty good. I'll test it out and see how long this one lasts. Where the blade is white, everything is white on this one now. So uh, now I'll just wait till the wind blows and see if it performs like the other one. Even though this one's got two blades. As you can see, the two blades spins just as well as the three blade. And this is just a light wind. bad storm coming up raining as you can see okay, I got a light wind which as you can see since I put the two bladed propeller on there I had to take the light and the motor out and uh, it really works uh, pretty good as you can see and hear how it's vibrating and that's going all through the ground Like, comment, subscribe, share with friends. Thanks for watching.